Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your eBay account from within SellerChamp. After you join SellerChamp, you're going to be asked to connect a sales channel. I'm going to go ahead and connect eBay today. And then I will click Next, connect to the marketplace. And you need to enter your login information for eBay. I'm going to go ahead and do that. After you're logged in, you're just going to have to click Agree to grant access to SellerChamp. Uh, now we're not going to take your banking information, username, password. This is just giving SellerChamp access to your listings. So after you click Agree, you're going to be taken back into SellerChamp, where you can go ahead and set up your account info. I'm going to go ahead and populate this for you real quick. All right, I've gone ahead and populated this. So first we'll start with the account name. I went ahead and take care of that. It can be any nickname. You can even change it later if you need to. Uh, the PayPal email is next. Uh, I went ahead and put in my primary email, email that uh, I have listed inside of uh, eBay and PayPal. So I just keep things straight. So this is the actual primary email. And the shipping zip code, the sales tax percentage. Uh, this is important because most of the states that we live in do require us to pay sales tax on the sales that we make within our own state. So it's very good to keep track of that. Um, a handling time, I went ahead and just matched up what I had inside of eBay. Uh, SKU prefixes, if you decide that you're going to let SellerChamp auto-generate SKUs, it can put a specific number or characters in front of those SKUs if you wish. Um, or you can click No if you want to manually use your own SKUs. We do have customers that do that as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Yes. Uh, max quantity to list, this one is actually very interesting. So the good thing about this max quantity list is Let's say you have a thousand of an item and you don't want to hit your seller limits too quick. Uh, you just want to make sure you list a few at a time. So if you do this setting here and I went ahead and put five in, it's going to list five of those thousand items. And then as the item starts to sell, it will just keep increasing it back up to five until the item is zeroed out on seller champ. So it's a, it's a good setting to have. So you don't have say a thousand of these things listed at one time. Um, causing you higher fees uh, and causing you to you know maybe max out your seller limit depending on the amount of items you already have listed so this is a this is a good thing to have here in place uh, then you can do your auction format next which is fixed or auction style uh, and the duration here uh, 1 to 30 and we're good till canceled this is another good setting to have clicked uh, within eBay and I'm going to show you where it is here in a second there's a setting that you can click called good to cancel which basically means that when your item quantity reaches zero, the item is uh, that that listing is not ended on eBay. It's just uh, inactivated. And as you get more of that item in, maybe you can just go inside Seller Champ into your inventory and add to that to the quantity of that item, and it will actually reactivate that listing and bring it back up. And it's the same listing you had before, um, and you've eliminated having to relist fees and it it keeps it going as long as you keep having more of that item and i'm going to show you in ebay where that where that is right now so i'll go into ebay and i will go to my ebay and go to selling and that's going to take you to your seller hub and then you can scroll down here to the middle into site preferences and you'll see this box right here this first one when the quantity of your good to cancel listing reaches zero, the listing remains active, but it's hidden from searches until you increase the quantity. So this is a good setting to have. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and click apply. And so now that listing is saved on my eBay site. And I've got all my preferences set. I click add account. It's going to take me out of here and into a new manifest, but I want to go ahead and go back into my settings and go back to my marketplaces and into eBay and I want to click my refresh button here and this is going to go ahead and bring all my current and even good to cancel listings that are still inactive right now into into SellerChamp and so I can manage them all here from within SellerChamp. Thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to our SellerChamp YouTube channel for more exclusive content.